Hey, it's Uncle Joe with Uncle Joe Hikes. I'm here at uh, Hurricane Creek Primitive Camping Area. We're basically, this road runs back to the backcountry kiosk, standing Indian campgrounds back there. The Appalachian Trail's running back up behind us here. Uh, decided to come up here and camp last night, and uh, gonna get up this morning. Well, I'm already up this morning. <laughs> gonna run up and uh, run up the Beach Gap Trail. It's just a, a short little jaunt. Uh, might do about six or so, maybe seven miles on the day. Uh, it's a little trail I wanted to uh, have a look at, and uh, part of that reason is because uh, I'd like to use that as a loop maybe for the boys at some point. And uh, so it's just kind of a recon thing, um, just a little chance to get out before Christmas. So that's what we're doing. We're uh, right here by the creek. Creeks run across the road and run up there. Up there by the truck. But um, yeah, I'm rolling without the road mic. Uh, my little muff that clips onto it doesn't do well in the cold. And I already lost one. I don't want to lose another. So I'm just got to be mindful of being in front so you guys can hear me. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a chilly day, but I think it's going to warm up. I think it's already, uh, you know, upper 30s. So, you know, it may warm up quite a bit. I might be shedding some layers at some point today. But we'll see. It's going to be a nice, clear day. And, uh, yeah, it should be fun. Right now, I want to finish up my coffee and uh, get things packed up so we can get moving. Uncle Joe with Uncle Joe Hikes. Try to keep the sun out of your eyes. <laughs> we made it here to the Beach Gap Trail. We're going to take this up to the Appalachian Trail and then uh, work our way back. So it's about two or three miles up, two and a half. But it's not going to be a long hike, but just get the blood warming, warmed up and uh, moving through the body and just to get out in the woods before Christmas. So yeah, I've been wanting to do this because I want to, as I said before, I want to do a, create a little loop there for the boys maybe one day, and this might be a good one to do it with. So let's go see what it's about. This is really cool. Nice footbridge. Big, sturdy footbridge. Beautiful. you have to make a hard right so watch for your blazes it kind of goes down this wash uh, I don't know it may have been a situation where this was a trail and just over time it just got worse and worse and became a wash I don't know but I could see where this would be a problem after a big rain we're coming down here by the by the creek Yeah, this gets washed up bad. This trail would be essentially impassable in a big, big bad drain. You can see here, the trail goes that way, and this is just a mess. But, it's a beautiful spot. We'll get over there to that in a minute. creeks down there in the wash some old blow down the trail's gonna hook back here but kind of cool to see the rocks cliff there we keep moving up make this turn we got a bit more climbing to do yay Okay, so we're at an intersection here. Uh, we just came up this ridge here. You won't find that section on the old Nat Geo map, um, but you will find this 34 here. And it's, it's basically like a loop that goes around 
and this trail that we're on is going to fork off of that and uh, go up to the AT. But supposedly this is an old loop. If you look at the old Net Geo map, it's an old loop above Standing Indian Campground. So it'd be interesting to see uh, if it gets any action. It does look like it's beating out a little bit. But I had thought one time it might be fun to go and explore that, but it'd have to be during winter because if it don't get a lot of traffic, it'd get grown over. So anyway, we're going to make our way up track 35 here. Keep following our blue blazes. We've now picked up a red. So this branch here, this top of that, may have been this tree right here, fell, wedged itself in between these two little trees and it's suspended there completely. Pretty cool. So we're up on this ridge and you can see that these trees, which I think are laurels, have no leaves on them. And they don't shed their leaves. I believe this was a result of burn. You can see this deadfall here has got some char on it. It was about, what, three years ago maybe? This area got a good bit of burn. Um, in fact, when I did my hike from Standing Indian to, uh, I think it was Mooney, actually went beyond Mooney Gap, yeah. Uh, all the way to Glass Mine and then to the backcountry kiosk. As I recall, on our way to Mooney, uh, we could still see some smoldering. So it was a good bit of good bit of fire that came through. I didn't think this this side got that much, but apparently it did. But some of them are fighting back and getting some leaves back on, so that's a good sign. And of course it paved the way for little ones to come up. A little breezy today, but uh, as long as I'm moving, I'm warm. Well, we're in this gap, so it's real windy. Hopefully it all funnels through there and we get a break up here. But we're in the southern end of Halo Wilderness now. So we just came around through here in this gap and uh, red trail should be turning off soon. I saw a double blue telling us there's a turn coming, but so far I don't see it. There's a red blaze, so it must be right up here. We're going to keep going straight. But uh, yeah, lots of uh, deadfall. I don't know how much was from burn and how much might have been from ice and snow, but there was some burn, we can see it. All right, we can see a double red diamond up here. So must be the turn for that other trail. I think this is called Kilby Gap. Yeah, that's seeing some use at some point. Yeah, that's some nice stream crossings. Very pretty. And I think we're going to have one more around this corner here. And we're going to come back out of that draw. And then we should be at the AT pretty quick. Where we'll take a break. Sun's out and it feels really good. I'm not really cold. I mean, when the wind kicks up or hits me, it's, it's kind of cool. But, uh, Overall, I'm staying warm as long as I'm moving. Might, might be ever and I stop and take a break. <laughs> we got a little laurel tunnel to drop down. Another little camp spot there. As we keep moving forward. To the AT, which should be here pretty quickly. Well, looks like we made it to the interstate. <laughs> Lots of open area here for a little bit anyway for camping. 
something to sit on. There's our white blaze heading south. Trail continues on that way to Maine. Beach Gap. Time for a break. All right, we're headed back out. Just a little short jaunt. Uh, you know, nothing too long. I just saw two ladies and two dogs come through here. And they uh, went up, they're doing that loop that I was talking about. They uh, came down the road, they're doing around the Laurel Ridge and back. So, yeah, about eight and a half miles, I think. So, be nice. Just gonna do a short, shorty here. Once we get up this little Laurel tunnel that's up here, I think it's largely gonna be a descent all the way, so that'd be nice. All righty. Saw this coming in. Fell against that tree. Just perched there. Thank goodness. Hope it stays there a good long time. We're back here at Kilby Gap. I saw this earlier. Apparently this loop, or maybe just this section, I don't know. But my guess is this loop that joins here is the big Indian trail. So, and it's equestrian, so goes around, heads out toward lower, lower trail ridge and uh, up above uh, standing Indian, so. Might be fun to check it out sometime. I've talked about that ground cover before. I believe the colder it gets, the more purple they turn. So you can see they're starting to. We can see the rhododendron is starting to sprout up here. Uh, some of them are starting to droop downward. And I think that's also because of cold. Now, when it gets real cold, they'll curl lengthwise. Don't see too much of that yet, but I imagine deeper into winter, we'll see more of that. Anyway, we're making our way through this old tunnel. All right, time for 34 to hook off to the left and we're gonna go straight. Almost there. You can drop down this ridge across a couple of stream crossings. We'll be there. <laughs> you can see this ground cover here, it's all but purple. I would take that to mean that they get a lot of cold the way it's facing here, getting a lot of wind. They're like, it sure is cold. And mine around here. We're working our way down to the bottom here. Trying to avoid all the mushy stuff. We've already come across one rather long patch of runoff and mushy mushy stuff all right we're back down to this bottom area here make our way up this wash like i said earlier i think if it was really rainy this would be a hard hard trail to get over to once you get up on the ridge that'd be fine but getting through this i should say would be very hard <laughs> It would be a lot of water. But that's where the trail goes. Sometimes you gotta do what you can and work with what you have. Beautiful. Well, there's old Silver, waiting patiently. Hopefully nobody broke in and got my 
easy play phonograph player. I think I left my favorite monkey's 45 in it. All right. Just a short jaunt, but I did want to see what it was like. It's actually used quite a bit, apparently. There's two ladies doing that loop, so they knew about it. All right, beach camp, done. All right, just left the beach gap. And since this is on the way out, and since the parking lot is not full <laughs> for a change, and since I have enough time left in the day for a change, I'm finally going to hike probably the most popular trail that I've never hiked. Higgins nose. Here we go. My guess is we must be at a higher elevation here. There's uh, definitely more frozen moisture. You can see it in this soil along the trail here. Trail's really beaten out. It's a short like nine tenths of a mile, so barely a mile out and a mile back, so people can get in and out easily. So this whole thing has just been a ridge walk once we got kind of up from the first initial climb, which wasn't really steep. Kind of going out this ridge there were a couple of side trails that kind of went out and came back in my guess is there's some little overlooks out there i don't know but uh we want to go out to the nose itself so right now these rhododendron are keeping the wind off of us i can only imagine what it's going to be like when we get out there the views up here are amazing Like we're coming to the end. <clears throat> Seems to be the one that's beating out the most, but it sure is muddy. I didn't mean we had to rhyme it, it just coincidental. <laughs> wow. Windy. I think this is the iconic spot. Maybe. It certainly is iconic. Certainly is epic. I guess is a better word. Beautiful. I'm just gonna be quiet because you probably can't hear me anyway with this wind. see a lot of dead uh, rhododendron and stuff on one side as we're walking back here but not on this side I wonder if this is from it does look like there was some burn it could also be that rain and ice came up and just weighed these guys down pulled some of them I don't know but most likely some fire because there is some burn here I guess the guys came up in here and kind of tried to hold it off here, maybe. And it doesn't seem to have reached over. I'm taking one of the little side trails to another little cliff. Wind is really blowing out here. Oh, okay. I think I've seen pictures of people there before. I don't know if you can hear me. It's like people have beaten out a path probably where they can get out there on it. I'm good right here. There's another offshoot little trail here. Looks like it's going to come out onto a cliff face or outcropping. 
Let's go see, shall we? All right, Pickens nose is done. We're back at the truck. We can see old silver down there. So that's Pickens nose. Beach gap and added on Pickens nose, a little B side for you. Wind's really kicking up out here. Uh, yeah, that was nice. I've been needing to go see Pickens Nose, and it's, it's beautiful out there. I'd like to come out here in the summertime. It's got to be pretty much in a weekday, though, because it gets packed over here. But speaking of packed, we need to get packed up and get out of here. All right, find something to eat.